What's going on guys, this is J2Gaming coming at you with episode 2 of the Manchester United career mode series. So in the last one we actually made some crucial signings, we got Bellingham and Fringpong through the door. And we also went ahead and played our first two friendly games against Juventus and uh, Leverkusen. So we've upped the difficulty now since we won 5-0 against Juventus. And our first game today is going to be against AC Milan. And we did have a poll in which centre-back we're going to sign at the end of last episode. So we'll reveal the results of that after the AC Milan game. And make sure you stay tuned till the end so you can have your say on the poll at the end of today's episode as well for who to sign in the next one. Before we get into the game though, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so that you don't miss the next episode. So this is the team that we're going to be fielding against uh, AC Milan. So Ronaldo, Sancho and Antonio up front and uh, the strongest midfield we can put out there as well. And same for the back four. Yeah, we're just going to be going all out and we'll move Ericsson off the bench because he's quite low on fitness, isn't he? Milan on the ball here quite early. They're putting some pressure on us. Let's see what we can do. Okay, they get the ball to Inaki Williams. Williams with a shot. Oh, and it's just wide. Thank God for that. I thought we were about to go down then, to be honest. Oh, lovely interception by Casemiro. Let's get it forward. Let's try and hit them on the counter here. Okay, we got it to Cristiano. Cristiano out wide to Sancho. Okay, okay. We've got a bunch of space here. Come on, Anthony. This is all the space you need. you got to make this count. And he puts it over the net. He should definitely be finishing that, to be honest. Bruno on the ball here. What can he do? Goes past one, and we get it forward to Ronaldo. Oh, we've got some space with Anthony. Let's see if we can make something here. Okay, let's try and cut inside. Oh, that's nice by Anthony. And a brilliant save by the keeper. That was actually a really nice little skill move. AC Milan on the wing here. They've got possession of the ball, and they're working it quite nicely. It's quite hard to get off them. Oh, we nearly got it there with Casemiro, but couldn't quite. Oh, I wasn't expecting that shot. Good save from De Gea. So AC Milan have a corner here, so let's see what they can do. So Leao on the ball here does a nice little skill to get it back inside. Is he going to cross it in? Okay, no, they go back into the middle. See what we can do. Oh, that's a beautiful pass and a great finish as well. Oh, that was stunning pass actually. Just split our defense right open. I don't know what happened. Let's see in the replay. I'm not sure who that is making the pass, but that was phenomenal. And the finish went with it well as well. Great goal from AC Milan. That goal came minutes before half time here, so this is probably going to end right here, and the whistle's probably going to go any minute now. Yeah, there it is. So we do go into half time 1 0 down, so we need to make a comeback. Since we're down at the moment, we'll avoid making any changes now, and we'll try and get the lead back and then make the changes later in the half. I think it's a good idea also because this is the last preseason, so realistically, the player should be playing a full 90 now as well. AC Milan attacking us here. Let's see if we can defend this with Malasia. Malasia, okay. They get, get it back inside. Oh, Malasia was quite poor there. Just got past too easily. Oh, great challenge by Malasia there. Well in Malasia. Okay, let's see if we can get on the counter now and make a quick break. Okay, Anthony on the ball. We're going to have to go back, unfortunately. Anthony on the ball again now. Oh, that's a nice pass into Fringpong. Fringpong's away now. Can he do something here? He crosses it in. And Ronaldo! When you need a goal, there's no one better to count on than this man right here. He turns up, man. He is there. I know it's only preseason. Maybe I'm getting a bit too excited. But um, this is a classic Ronaldo goal. Just out jumping the defender and putting it in the back of the net. And that is Tamori right there getting out jumped by him. So, you know, maybe it's a Sam. Maybe we shouldn't be getting him. But then again, that'd be quite harsh. Ronaldo out jumps just about anyone. Okay, we're going to get down the wing here. Ronaldo can set Fringpong free again. Fringpong down the wing again. Can he find someone in the box once again like he did Ronaldo? Leao can't quite get the header. Oh, but it falls for Ronaldo off the chest. And he puts it wide, man. Okay, so it's the 70th minute now. So we will make some changes. I think we'll uh, bring Rashford on for Sancho to get some pace so that we can attack them on the counter. And we'll also bring Fred on because we only need a draw from this game to win the stages actually. So so I think bringing Fred on and getting some defensive solidity would be a good idea. It is the 85th minute now, so I don't know if we're going to get too many chances to uh, make a victory out of this game. But we do maybe have an opportunity here. Anthony down the wing once again. Let's see what we can do here. He's down the wing. Let's put a cross in. And Rashford at the far post. And he hits the post. No way. That was a clear opportunity. It's the 19th minute now. And we do have a corner. But I'm so bad at these corners. Because I'm not used to the new mechanic yet. So let's try and make something out of it. But I doubt something's going to come off. We get it in. And it is cleared away. I just hope they don't get a fast counter attack now. 
and the whistle does go which is awesome with that draw we do win the preseason tournament now so we do get that bit of extra cash and we can put that towards some more new signings so we jumped out the game and we're swimming forward and we get transfer offers for three of our players at one go so one of them's Leicester City coming in for Lissandra Martinez and he's just signed for us and he's been a beast. I'm not looking to send him anywhere. So we're going to just straight up reject that one. Not even going to bother negotiating. As for one of the other ones, it's Charles Park. So I forgot to show you this last episode, but he's actually the youth academy prospect I get for ordering the ultimate edition of the game. So I signed him up to the full team and I do plan on using him. So I'm not going to be selling him or looking to loan him out either. And the final offer was one made for Martial. So I was a little torn on this one. I didn't know how to feel. On one hand, he came in and was absolutely brilliant for us in the first few seasons, but recently he hasn't really shown that potential, so I really didn't know what to do, but I thought let's go in and negotiate anyway. And I just threw a high number out there. I didn't ever think that Bayern Munich would offer something above 40 million for him, but when I counter offered them that, they took it straight away, and I wasn't expecting that, and I don't know what to do now. I kind of hope the deal falls through. I kind of want him to stay at the club, to be honest. Don't I'm go not, anywhere. I'm not. Don't go anywhere. Whether or not Martial is going to be going, one thing's for sure. We still need that centre-back that we talked about in the last episode. In the comments of the last episode, there was actually only two comments, and both were waiting for this man, Guardiol. So let's go in for him, and we'll see what we can get done. So it took a little bit of going back and forth, but guess what? The deal is done. And do you know what the best part of this is? We got Guardiola and sent Maguire the other way. Oh my god! Wow! But before we can even celebrate, we get hit with this cutscene of Martial leaving. Ah, sad to see him go, man. But with that 40 mil, we can do so much. And since he's left, we are going to be popping into the market for an attacker now. I actually planned on letting you guys pick which attacker that we're going to get in the next episode. But I got hit by this email. PSG were going in for Leao and he was going to be one of the options. So if I didn't want to miss out on him, I had to go in for him now. And that's exactly what I did. I figured there's very few strikers in this game that are quality that I can bring in. So why not get Leao and turn him into a striker? And not to mention that he also gives us some extra cover on the wings, which is needed considering how thin we are there. And we actually get the deal done for just 65 million and Ilanga, which is an absolute W considering the fact that he's got 90 potential. I know some people will be worried about who's going to get the game time here since we have so many wingers, but with Rashford potentially playing up front and both Sancho and Leao being able to play on both sides, we're absolutely not going to have a problem and injuries will happen and we got a big season ahead of us and we're looking to challenge for everything. So we can now finally move on to the first Premier League game of FIFA 23. And Leao is going to be on the bench of this one since he hasn't really got a sharpness up yet. As for the starting 11, it is the strongest starting 11 that we've been going with throughout the preseason. So let's jump straight into the match and get this W. To be compelling. Stay with us, we'll have it all for you coming up next on EA TV. Yo, that little cinematic scene is actually so hype, man. It's low key giving me goosebumps. Okay, so Wolves get this game kicked off. And a nice little tackle from Casemiro to win the ball back. We get it up, and this might actually be a good chance to counter, but I think they've got enough people back now. Okay, Sancho on the wing. We get it inside, and Ronaldo. Ronaldo with the early goal, baby. Come on. That's actually a really quick goal. That might be one of the quickest goals I scored on FIFA. A great little assist from Sancho there, and Ronaldo's not missing a chance like that. Wolves on the ball here. Let's try and go in for a tackle with Frimpong. Ooh, Frimpong nearly wins it back. Oh, we've left us quite open at the back though. Okay, they go back and Frimpong with a go. Oh no, Frimpong gave it away. Ah, oh, you can't do that at the top level, unfortunately. Frimpong just passes it straight to the opponent, and that leads to an easy goal for them. So Wolves have equalised just within 10 minutes of us scoring. A nice little back pass by the Wolves player to actually give them the opportunity though. I don't know what Jude Bellingham's doing so far over the field, but he gets it out to Sancho, I guess. Okay, let's cut in with Sancho, and why not? Oh my days! Sancho's just did him dirty. What was that? I didn't expect that to go in in a million years. I just hit it. But it kind of gave us a bit of a weird animation. It looked like a bit of a chip. Let's watch this back. So Sancho's dribbling down, and a nice little cut in. 
and the shot. Yeah, puts the keeper into a bit of a chip animation. I wonder if these shots are going to be a little bit OP. Beautiful goal, though. That's definitely the best one I've scored on FIFA 23 yet. So that does wrap up the half, and at half time, I do bring on Leal for Anthony just to give the new player some uh, game time. So we kick off the second half, and let's try start this the same way we started the first half. We get it out to Leal, and let's try uh, come back in now. There's no real um, danger this way. Okay, we go out wide. We bring it in. Okay, we actually get it through to Ronaldo. Let's try a power shot from out wide. Oh, another crazy goal. That's two goals from outside of the box in one game, man. This team is on fire right now. Okay, the defender probably should have saved that. And these cutscenes are looking so dope, by the way. They look so sick. And the finish just pinpoint perfect. So it's the 60th minute and we're going to bring on Rashford, Eriksen and Guardiola for Ronaldo, Belling and Martinez just to freshen up the squad a bit. So these power shots are feeling a bit OP, so let's try another one right here. What? What the fuck? Okay, we've got the ball out wide with Fring Pong now. Let's try to get down the line and whipping across. And Rashford winning the header and putting it in the back of the net. We're running away with it now. 4-1. Wolves do have a corner now, so they might be able to get back into it with this one. But we do clear it away, but it doesn't go far. They might still have this opportunity. The shoot is blocked. And the rebound falls straight to them. And he puts it back into the net, man. It's the 96th minute now. And we fought hard for this win. And the whistle does go, meaning we take three points in our first game. And that is all we have time for in this episode. Before you go, though, leave a comment on which position you want to see me sign in the next episode. And whichever position has the most votes is the one that I'm going to go and sign in the next one. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe so that you don't miss the next episode. This is J2 Gaming signing out and I'll see all of your beautiful faces in the next one.